Hey, what's up? Hey, black man. Yeah. Well, hey, boy, what a day, what a day, what a day. Man, I was out all day. I was walking, man. Okay. You know, after after coming to New York from taking that long train ride from uh, basically St. Louis, but let's say to Chicago, well, to St. Louis, two days almost, well, I guess it was two days, uh, to uh, to New York. You know, I hadn't been doing my morning. I, I, I got no dog to walk, you know what I mean? And I was that that train, you know, I love train rides. You can get up and walk and whatever have you, but you know, I didn't much, do much walking. We had, a big, we had a layovers, you know, I'd walk around, but you know what I mean? My body was like, hey, it's not with you. You ain't did what you're supposed to be doing for the last two and a, what, three and a half months in St. Louis. Let's get going. Let's get going. So I had to do my floor. <laughs> I had to do my floor exercises this morning, you know. Then I get out. I was walking all day. I walked all around the place. I went to Trader Joe's and I got my favorite beverage that I couldn't get in, in St. Louis. They didn't have it there. My cocoa almond cashew beverage. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is your thing. Oh, man. I love this stuff, man. This, like cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Well, you know what? <laughs> what happens when when I don't when I don't have my stuff like this? It's all right, you know what I mean. I don't really have a I have Jones for it, but I don't really have. It. I mean, I'm not a an addict like that. Luckily, you know. Otherwise, I otherwise I would have went down in the '80s, you know, like like a whole bunch of other people, you know. <laughs> so I'm lucky that way, man. Really lucky, you know. But then again, I think it was my grandmother. She had a, she had tremendous will. You know, you know, you know, you know, black women. If you get, if you get that legacy of that will, you know, she like, you know, she come from that, that Geechee Gullah, you know, Mohawk Indian line, you know. That's right. <laughs> so she I was take cool. No hey, take no prisoners. No, 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 no prisoners. I should say. Uh, yeah. But anyway, man. Hey, uh, you was uh, first of all, thank you for the uh, the uh, the link to the to the Henry Dumas. Uh, oh, you like that, huh? Sunrise. Of course, you that. <laughs> no, no. When you, you called me earlier, I had to. Uh, what I was doing, I was writing a comment on. It. In fact, I got it right here. I was commenting on it yeah, because yeah. people don't know the story. It was only five comments or anything, so I guess I'm not a six, whatever it is. So I just wrote the comment. You'll have to read it sometime. You know. Okay. I'm not gonna say what it was, but uh, you know what it yeah. is. So, so that was that was good. But no, something else before we get into anything. You know. You, I I I like I hate to leave stories dangling. Remember we you know you know how you met me and everything. I was smiling, but you said there was a there was a um a, a, a female model some some story that you didn't tell me that you you sort of didn't want to tell me. It was like I don't, I don't think it was risque. It's just that you wasn't squealing. Just to, what was it, man? Tell me what it is. I want to know. Oh, okay, this female model I believe was like from uh, Sicily. From where? Sicily. Sicily. Okay. Yeah. In Italy, right? Okay. I think she was Sicilian. How do, how do you know that? Was her accent what? Her accent and her color, her complexion. Okay. It was like a real warm golden brown. Okay. But her features look somewhat European. So it was like, this woman is like, you go to a tanner salon or something, but you could just tell, it's like, nah, that's just her complexion. That's just her look. But what really made me know was since I was the only brother in the room. No, you told me that story, but you said there was another story. Oh, I told you that one. Okay. The other story was the teacher must have been dating this model, right? This other model. Yeah. Okay. Right, so he was dating this other model, young girl, right? When I say young, you know, older than me at that time. Well, most of the most of the models most of the models were like dancers or in that thing or whatever. So they they were in basically their early twenties. Most yeah, yeah. But like you know, at that time I was um, freshman, so I don't even think I was even twenty. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm there. I'm the only brother in the class and stuff like that. And um, she must have took a liking to me, but I didn't realize it though. Well, what what was, what was her ethnicity? Let's put it that way. Oh, she was a uh, European, you know. But um, you know, maybe American though. Okay. But you know, of European descent, as they say, right? Okay. This chick, boy, oh boy, talk about posing. <laughs> she made sure every provocative pose she did 
was facing me. Every <laughs> single one of them. I mean, oh. You know what I mean. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I was a model, so I don't know. I never did a provocative pose, so I but don't know. You know what a provocative pose is if you saw one. <laughs> <laughs> did, did some, did, didn't some, some, somebody who was, so one of these politicians who was in charge of uh, censoring said, said, well, you know, they couldn't just find it, but they know if they saw it, whatever have you? Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know if they saw it. Right, exactly. So the crazy part was, you did those poses, right? Mm hmm. Now it's lunchtime, you know, you know, when you take that lunch break, it's like, what, an hour and a half break or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, since this was in, um, I think it was like the 21st Street building. Okay. Yeah, the 21st Street building, because this was the building that had, um, you know, I think one of the elevators was like a gurney type one. Yeah, exactly. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. The, the, well, you know, so, let, me, let, me, let me tell you this. One of the reasons that I really like modeling and I, I basically only modeled School of Visual Arts. I did put Parsons once a few times. I did FIT. I hated FIT. But it's because School of Visual Arts was the only one that I felt like there was like a real a real art atmosphere, you know? Yeah. So anyway, go ahead. So now, I didn't realize that this was the building that Tiki was in. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know that she was with the teacher. She was dating the teacher. Okay. Yeah. She was dating the teacher. And of course, the teacher was... Was of European descent, also. <laughs> yeah, I think this teacher's French. I think he was French. French, so he should have taken it then. He should have known. What's nah, with this he boy? Wasn't feeling it, man, because I got a B in that class, man. When I knew I should have got an A. <laughs> a carrot that couldn't even draw like a straight line, man. If, if you paid her, got an A minus. Wow. <laughs> I got so mad, I accused her of sleeping with the teacher. <laughs> oh man! Wait a second. How'd you get to accuse her with sleep with the teacher? You only modeled a few times, right? No, no. I accused Kara because she got an A minus. Oh, Kara! <laughs> 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 like, like, you can't draw. What is this? You can't even draw. How you get an A minus? I get a B. Well, it shows you the. the, 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 the as Mr. But, but, but yeah. just get back to the, to the story at, at hand, which hmm. was. When we left to go to lunch, that's when I realized that he was with her, mm -hmm. right? And then when we came back to class, I ended up on the um, elevator, and it was just basically me and the model. I don't know how that happened, but it's like I got on the elevator, and she, she, cool. she was there. She she knew how it happened, but you she didn't. Did. So I'm looking at her like. Know, like, you know, and she's looking at me like, oh, yeah, you know, he looks like he's, like, he don't know what's, he's bewildered, you know, you don't know what's happening, but I know what's happening, so we kind of just rode up quietly, but she was, like, giggling to herself and stuff, and so, as soon as the door's open, there's the teacher right there, and I'm like, oh, here we go, so that's when I knew pretty much that I was going to get a big. Oh, man. Man, it's, let me, as Mr. Neely Fuller would say, man, that, like that's the power of sex, man. That what that's the eighth area of of of, of uh, human activity or whatever, you know, one of them areas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, okay, well there you go, man. You learned your lesson, you know. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know, I mean, thank God it wasn't, you know, on a real. It wasn't no Emmett Till type thing, but if it was back in those days. No, thank thank goodness when when the elevator door opened, she wasn't all la laying up on you. You know that's what you. Yeah, did. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I'm saying just the fact he was standing there in his mind, it, she was laying up on me. Well, there you go, man. You know, you know how men are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like, well, what's this? That's one thing I do have to say. I, it was to my demise sometimes. You know, I always had this attitude, like, you know, a woman is a woman. It's her, it's her, whatever. She want to be with me, she want to be. If she don't want to be with me, that's fine with me, too. I, I don't, you know. My grandmother always told me, if you can't agree, separate. If blah, blah, blah. I mean, and, and it's, it's been a real, a real problem with my, in my, in my life. Most, most of my, you know, young life, especially. Yeah. Man, I, it's just, because people can't, especially other cultures, they don't understand that. And I'm going like, yeah, well, it's another human being. That's their, you know, they choose, they choose. If they don't. They don't. What you want me to do? Well, what? I'm no policeman. I'm no. I'm no. I know chastity belt. What do you want me to do? You know. Exactly. If can't it, the thing is, my thing is like, if I found the person attractive, then guess what? 
a bunch of other people find a person attractive. So, yeah. so you think the person's gonna stop being attracted just because she with me? Yeah. Now, there's a whole a, a level of respect or disrespect. I understand that when you you know, with, but 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 for the most part, that's what it is, man. You know, uh, well, you know, what can I say? I'm cool. So look, man, a lot happened this week. Well, I don't know what I want to talk about or what you want to talk about. You have to forgive. I'm now I'm in Harlem. You know, I got yeah. the I got the metro rail in back, but then it's train. So you know. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not complaining. You know, I hope our audio comes out all right, though. We'll yeah, see. I think it'll work, man. Just because it's a new phone, right? Well, you know, I'm using my other. I'm, man, I'm on. I'm on different phones now, man. I, I don't know. I'm now, like my man, like, like David, like David Wright said, man, the man of a thousand phones, and it's true. Now, now I got three phones. I'm trying to. I, I can't explain this to you, man. I just had. To, uh, it's all right. Um, but this ain't the burner one, right? No, the burn. The burn. The, the, <laughs> I got the burner one, but I got it. I got it away, man. I put it away. I got still got a chip in it. You know what I mean? I got a thing in it. Yeah. But no, no, this, the, this is. Let me put this. I got it. No, no. I, 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 I actually, I'm talking to you on the burner, the burner thing. The how do you say the the the, the what, what do you call a little chip? The uh the the, the SD card. Well, not the card. The SD card. Whatever the card that is. The, the what do you call that card? The um the SIM card. The SIM card. Like this, the burner SIM card, right? Okay. The, bur the burner phone has my third SIM card that 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 uh what T-Mobile gave me because you know that they want me to be a good customer, right? So nobody, so the burner phone now has a burner card and a burner phone, and nobody know that number. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. That's what I'm saying, man. Hey, like I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever come down. Yeah. <laughs> unlike a whole, unlike a whole, unlike a whole bunch of other Negroes, man. I don't know what's going on with these black people. They put all their faith and hope in, into, like, in fact, that's where we should start off. Here's the thing, man. I'm going to say this once. No, no, I'm going to just say this. What bothers me, not bothers me, but I don't know if I told you this before. Let me just repeat it again. People go about, they go Trump, they go Biden, and they say, well, you know, uh, Biden's going to be better than Trump, or whatever they're going to say. My thing is, my problem is that they both... People call Trump this and that. They call Biden this and that. But everybody misses what they really are. And when, no, yeah. and, 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 if it wasn't true, it came out really in the Supreme Court hearing because what this this uh, this who, this handmaiden really is, what they all are, what, what all of them are since, and, and the one that sheepled them into that was Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton made them all, here we go, corporatists. Mm. Don't don't forget everything else. Forget all the other labels you've been called. Look at all the people in power, even yeah. the people that replaced them. They yeah. all belong to the corporation. Forget this yeah. capitalist thing. Forget this socialist thing. Forget this racist thing. This whatever the Russian thing. They are all corporatists, and they're gonna do the bidding of the corporation. Having yeah. said that, how do you fight against? But if everybody, every, if everybody in, in, in power is a corporatist for the corporation, and I'm 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 I'm, pep, I'm, I'm leaving out the point that corporations, uh, you know, lead to fascism. Well, we're in a fascist state anyway. But I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say we're fascist because that messes people up. That's why I say corporatist because that's a new term. People gotta no term. They gotta wrestle yeah, with that. They gotta. They gotta. Like, okay, I gotta wrap my head around that one. Thank you. Corporatist, huh? That's right. So if mean? if they. If they're all corporatists or they want to be corporatists or they do the bidding of the corporation, then that's what we're talking about. And if that is true, then you see that you ain't going to win no matter what. You yeah. know, you ain't going to win. So what do you, how do you protect yourself? That's why I sent you that link. That's why I tell people, I tell people you got to start listening to to Orange Pill uh, podcast, to Orange Pill, to, to Stacey yeah. and Max. Because basically, Bitcoin is going to be the only way that you're going to protect yourself. Because yeah, the corporation blockchain. corporations can't corrupt Bitcoin, and like the guy said, I don't know if uh, I don't know if you um, I sent you an email. The latest link they did, but I, I they, their podcast comes out on what is today? Today Sunday on Sun Saturday Sunday. I, I used to listen to them on Sundays. Uh, they, they, it comes out on Sundays for me. And that's when I listen yeah. to them. It's like two hours, whatever have you. But they had a. Yeah, uh, I thought that the latest one was out, but um, I'm gonna catch it um tomorrow. Okay, well, good. Well, 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 the thing that the bring the guy brings up. Is that one of the things that revolutionized the world? World was the number zero, the digit zero. Yep. 
Well, Bitcoin is is going to do for find for I would say economics, finance, whatever you want to call it. What zero did for numbers, Bitcoin is going to do for for humanity. Simple as that. I believe them. Yeah. But of course, nobody now you know you you know black man. You know I'm a black man. You a black man? Ain't nobody going to believe us. <laughs> yep. And I say I say like what Jay Small used to be on Jay Small used to be on the normal radio, right? We used to do this all the time. I would say, I say, James, but what you're saying, you know, people are going to say that you're a racist or, you know, you're, 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 you know, you're reverse racist, something like that, that James would say, because we, it was like an act. They would say, well, you know, he said, well, you know, Anthony, I, it's not me saying this. I got this from a book and the white man wrote, and the white man wrote the book. So I got it from the white man. And you know, you all believe the white man, don't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My two best, my two best normal. Well, I had a lot of best normal radios, but my two best normal radio guests consistently was James. I always have fun with him, you know, because I would play the, the straight man. Sometimes I would, whatever. Most of the time I play the straight man, right? And 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 and, and, and Doctor Moore, because Doctor Moore, you know, he oh, would yeah. go off. I, I would, I would say, well, Doctor Moore, and I just want to use it all the time because I, I like to say it. He said, well, Doctor, you, you tell me about Parker Diacra. Oh, that's it. He would say. He reeled back, Parker Diagra. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a plant uh, from British, but from Guyana, South America, and where they have to. And he would go. I would go to. I would leave the room, go to the bathroom, whatever. You know, <laughs> come back. You know, seven minutes later, he's still going off about something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I love being have Doctor Moore. No more radio was the best. Hard to find now. Really, I find it in teas. I get it in I South Africa. I don't find it. In, I don't find it. I'm saying maybe I'm not going to the right places. But before it used to be like when Doctor Moore talked about it, it was like, okay, what is this thing, right? And then over time, it was like, oh, you know, everybody knows what it is. Like everybody know what um black seed oil is now. Oh yeah, yeah. But in the beginning, or like even moringa, mm. you know. About five years ago, it was like, yeah, moringa's from um, um, Africa, South Africa and stuff, the moringa tree and stuff. But to find it, it was hard to find. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, you know, like in a two, three year span, it became like an explosion. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, well, you know what happens. It becomes a she-she thing. There's a new thing now, uh, uh, ka, 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 something, K.A. Kazuma. I don't know what the heck it is. They, they got stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway. Well, kombucha? Yeah, it's, no, not that kombucha. There's something, there's some other powder they put in, they shake it up in the drink, it's supposed to just have everything, whatever. No, kombucha is uh, that Japanese thing. This is a, another thing. Uh, I want to say kaboom, but I don't know. I, I don't I don't yeah, care. Yeah. I don't care, Come you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Parker Diaco, because that was for real. That was the truth. Hey, you know. Well, a lot yeah, of times... I used, it, I used to get it loose in a bag. That's why you're supposed to get it. That's where you're supposed to get it. That's where you're supposed to get it. Yep. Get it loose in a brown paper bag, and it's like, yo, this tree bark is the joint. Mm -hmm. All girls don't know what the joint is. That means it was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now we got to now we got to redefine our terms or whatever have you. So anyway, so, yeah. so I just that's all I wanted to say about this whole political situation. But one one the, I, I, there is a disturbing thing. Because as you know, I, I don't I don't like to really talk about other people. I, I just you know I, I try to fight a code of Miss Miss Neely Fuller Jr., which you know you don't really talk. So they said what they said, you know. But when somebody calls somebody else out or corrects them, then I feel compelled to correct them for correcting them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now now this is not a bad correction. It's just 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 to show you what I'm what I'm talking about. When you, you know, I always listen to uh, 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 Dr. Greg Carr when he's with the Karen Hunter, Dr. Greg Carr. I don't really follow Karen Hunter. I'm not really into her, you know what I mean? But the Greg Carr... Yeah, that's kind of why I'm from. Yeah. I, listen to them. I listen to that today, mm -hmm. the latest one. I listen to it today. The, the Greg Carr one, the one, one we're, we're talking about Ice Cube, right? Yep. Okay. Ice Cube, Diddy, Yeah. Okay, now I understand what they're saying. That's no problem. And I ain't got no problem with whatever they said. But the one thing, and this is why it trips us all up, when he said, right, well, you know, I, Ice Cube, well, you know, or, or when people, when, when the rappers have their names, you know what I mean? And then, you know, they, they, should, they should say, you know, Mr. Jackson or whatever it is. And I'm going to say, no, 
they, they, they you call them what they want to be called. Just because in your academic world, you got to have the bona fides of doctor or mister or some proper thing, that's the problem. Because they're here because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Because yeah. you don't have 20 million, 40 million followers. The reason why the reason why they gotta have them, they, where, where they gotta have them, and you call them what they if forty million want to call forty million people want to call you, Mister Cube or Ice or Cube. Well, guess what? That's what they're gonna call you. You know, if if yeah. if, 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 if 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 you want to be called Doctor Carr, well, that's what they call you. If you want to be called Sister So and So, you know, that's if you're Sister Soldier. That's what you call. So what? That's not. Yeah. You, don't be. That's the problem because we got we got we, we got. All everybody's got what they got to say. My thing is, say what you got to say. Don't uh, forget the protocols. There ain't no protocols. We're in war. You, if you if you're in war, exactly, that's what you all hype now. That's exactly what happened in like a little combo with with a, a crew that won't be named. The same type of thing where it was like you know, here you have this inner critique on you know how great you coach. I don't care about that. Like you said, we're at war. And if we're at war, you say what you have to say the way you have to say it. As long as people get it, especially if you're making it plain, if you're making it plain, that's all you got to know. You don't have to know. I mean, I was even criticized in the text because I said, don't ever, ever. And if someone said, never, ever, and I said, no, ever, ever, did I stutter? And yes, I used bad grammar. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> because the thing like, is, I got time for that. It's like, no, I'm my court. You know what I was talking about. My thing is like, you're talking to me, right? We brothers, right? That's right. We cohorts, right? That's right. So if you say something to me and I go, oh, correction, I think that's actually blah, 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 blah. It's like, you ain't got time for that. I know what you say. But here's the if thing. I know what you say. That's it. My mother, who's from the South, when she talked, and she was, and she get mad, her Southern accent come out strong. You understand? Her South Carolinian accent come out strong. And you know what she would say to you? You heard what I said. <laughs> you heard what I said? And it's like, you knew exactly what she talking about. This. It's like, yeah, I heard what you said. Yep, I heard it. Yep. Hey. <laughs> that's my, but my point is this. If you, if you, if you, the doctor or you, whoever you are, and you come up with with with, with something, ain't that, you know, So what? You know, you yeah. know the feeling. In fact, in fact, he not. Here's the trick. Here's the big trick. They bring in ice. You know, they bring in Cuba and all on some of these other programs and whatever have you talking to white people. I'm through talking to white people. My thing is like, I, I call I, brothers. Know what I'm saying. If I if I say if, if that's what they know they know me the brothers know me as Cube they don't know me as Doctor Cube Mister Jackson blah blah yeah. blah 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 blah. Yeah, when he said O J Jackson, I had to go. Oh Who yeah, is? yeah, that is his, his name. name. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but I'm saying to myself like, yo, but what, what's wrong with Cube though? But my thing is, I mean, he that's not. How I wrote it. But that's my how thing I wrote it in the text. I was like, yo, yo, stop picking on Cube. Hey, he knew exactly what I was talking about. But, <laughs> but like, my yeah. my point is very simple. He ain't talking to you. If you gotta correct him, he ain't talking to you. That's right. He ain't talking to you. To uh, what it was? What it, is there? Five thousand academics that's going to correct him? He ain't talking to you. Five thousand people. He talking to the fifty thousand brothers and sisters who need to hear what he has to say around the world. Yeah. That's who yeah. he talking to. Who understand? Who ain't correcting him? Yeah. Who, especially all those people are like they, you know Cuomo kept his, his to be Cuomo. They kept on trying to say you know people of color. And keep, I'm talking about black people. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I love most about. It. He said, "I'm talking yeah. about black people. Everybody, Roland Martin having on there trying to switch with these these lesbian women or whatever the hell." Now he said, "I'm talking about black people," and yeah. that's and and that's, see, what, that's that's the thing right there. That's the thing. Before we even get to the lesbian part, but I'm saying that's the thing right there. They always try to code switch it back to BIPOC. Remember, I told you about BIPOC. Yep, before? Yep, yep. You know, black. You know, black and indigenous people of color. It's like no, 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 no. It's like yo. Know, you got too many letters, too many words, and stuff like that. No, it's too much now. Hey, Pass look. Up, okay, <laughs> take yourself back to where you were. Do your little niche thing there, and stay over there. No, you know what it is. They ain't got no heroes. You know what I mean? They, they, yeah. they, 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 they got to steal Dr. King. 
They got to steal Malcolm. They, they got to quote Malcolm. They got to quote, quote King. Because they ain't got nobody. You think they would have the well, decency? You know why, though, right? Well, you think they have the decency at least to quote? The, well, even if they quote James Baldwin, James is first. He's black. That's the point. They anybody they talk, talk to, it's going to be black. Yeah. Anybody that's sitting is going to be black, and because they don't want to say let's, black. Let's, just, let's keep it even realer. ADOS. <laughs> they all don't want to, you know, agree to it. They all like, oh, I ain't down with ADOS. All this but that's what you are, though. You are that. Well, the people who ain't that. I think they, it's like if you watch Eyes on the Prize, who do you think that is? Who do you think it is? Well, the point is, these people that that are running this interference, they they're not, and they don't want yeah. they, they, and they and they can't look. All these policies and, and and I just I just wish everybody would say every time they say this, people because oh you mean because you know what what uh, uh, you who's your congresswoman? I mean who's your congressperson? Yeah. Who's your congressperson? Exactly. Who who's your and you Queen Mr. Queens there? Who's your congress congressperson? I got like Leroy Conway. Conway. Okay. I got Gregory Meeks. And I got um it's Leroy, Gregory Meeks, and it's another guy. In your district around in the surrounding your district. Yeah. I'm talking about all the three that, you know, my you know, my district, my um what they call it, the AD, the, you know, oh, oh, so you, is, that whole thing oh, there. Oh, yeah, your, 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 your assembly person, your, your your state senator, and your congressperson yep. are all black. That's right, yep. So, so it's, it's incumbent upon you once they try to pull that people of color thing and say, all oh, right, brother, brother, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Yeah. We're talking black people, aren't we? You're talking about yeah. ADOS, exactly. right? That, exactly. You know, that, that's all you got to say, you know. Don't be, yeah. you, you, you tell them, look, if you want to be in those committee meetings, or you be with your colleagues and say that because you want to blend in fine. But when you're writing that bill down, you make sure it says black, you know, yeah. ADOS black. You know, we're not going to talk about no other kind of black. You know, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yep, exactly. Because that's my whole thing is that, wait a minute, you know, everybody wants to grasp. And you, you know, let's say this happens, you know, within a five-year period or 10-year period. And all of a sudden it's like, yeah, there it is. You got Chris Cuomo talking about, um, well, whoever. <laughs> you know, talking about yeah. So, uh, people of uh, you know African descent that uh, uh descendants of slaves are now eligible for reparations. And here's how it's gonna break down. You know, everybody else is gonna bandwagon. Yeah, that's what they've been doing. That's what they did. Yeah. They did. I'm just yeah. saying. But my thing is like, instead of you know what you should do is like uh try and work with us. And when I say work with us, I'm saying behind the scenes and say like, hey. Yeah, give those people what they're supposed to get. So then you can get what you think you're supposed to get. My thing is, instead of that, you want us to do all the work, just like with the dogs, you know, biting you and the lynching and the fire hoses and any kind of other unspeakable thing that's happened before and even, you know, in modern times. Like that that image that um you have um posted up mm. of the brother with the sneakers. I was like, yo. First of all, his body type looked like mine. Second of all, the sneakers were exactly the sneakers I used to wear back in the 80s. That's what I got. That's what affected me about the picture. You know, I've seen... I've seen a lot of of, of uh, uh, lynching, lynch, lynch, lynching, you know, pictures. You know what I mean? Especially the yeah. ones back in the day when we have all the white people there. And, you know, yeah. with all those kind of lynching things. And, you know, it's... I'm, like, I'm, it's I'm, like from that book, 100 Years of Lynching. That's right. So I'm sort of desensitized to that. Yeah. But this one, which obviously is a recent one, when I say recent, must have been the eighties or nineties. Yeah, it was the eighties for sure. Those sneakers are from the eighties. And I was going like, "Whoa, don't people still?" Do and this was I was at Eugene's house when I when I it was in this book. You yeah. know, the book just came out this, this year, last it was like year. A full page spread. Yeah, it, it was, was a like, double. What? It was double page. Double page spread. I'm sorry. And the, but the thing is, what got me. I looked at it and I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." Then all of a sudden, I saw the sneakers. I said, "What? This is recent, you know." Yeah. So, in case anybody would do the effect of that picture, it was that the picture is black with those white sneakers and yeah. those those hip hop. You know what it reminded me of? People don't know because I first locked my hair hair in the early eighties. You yeah, know, I you know. Then I, I then I had it then I had it cut and then I locked again in the late eighties. But when I first had it in the early eighties, you know, people don't understand. They were killing brothers for having locks. Yep. They were killing. People forget that they were killing brothers for having locks. Yeah. 
what's going on here? You don't remember that? And, th and that's, that's the other thing I don't, I don't like about this recent movement. My, my thing, I, I think I said this before too. You can go to whatever era you in. If 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 you're if you're right now, if you're fifty years old, you you don't have to be saying you know George Floyd or or or, or Breonna Taylor. You can go back to your own time period and pick out three people and raise their name. You know, I'm saying everybody should have in your era. You should have your names and just that's raise right. their names. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you're effective. Like, you know, Eleanor Bumpers, Yusuf Hawkins. Hey. You know what I'm saying? It's like here. Rihanna Taylor, it's like Helena Bumpers with the grandmother. In her own house. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. I, but my three people is Henry Duma, you know, Clifford Glover from Queens, and Eleanor Bumpers from the Bronx. There you go. Yeah. Those are my three people. Th those are the names I say. You know, yeah. if you want to say... I got Lucifer Hawkins, Eleanor Bumpers, and the brothers that were chased in um, Howard Beach. Ah. And then, then we can also go to the classic Bernie Get situation too. That's my point. Did, did I guess my point is, I, did, we we are being sheepled, you know. As soon as somebody yeah. comes up, we are saying the same names, and that's what they're doing. And nobody is. I'm trying to get everybody to think, uh, uh, think about this in their own image, not in the image that you you're getting out. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, look. I went straight from uh, in in in, in uh, and St. Louis I had to endure NPR. You know what I mean? I was just putting my headphones on. I had to do NPR all the time, you know, with yeah. their nonsense. Here, I got to endure MSNBC. Luckily, I'm in another room. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. I got to endure MSNBC. And if that's not a propaganda thing, then nothing is. I mean, these people are all sheepling. I mean, they're, they're, they're caping for whatever, whatever they think they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. But, you know, and the funny thing is, if you just tell the truth, People are going to react to the truth. Why? Why do you? Why do you have to shield for the white man? What's going on here? Yo, my whole thing is like, yo, they be tricky, man, big time. I mean, I, 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 if I just say, yo, you know, I don't know about, you know, the Democrats either. And when I say the Democrats, yeah, I'm talking about Biden and Harris. But I'm talking about just the Democratic Party altogether. And once I say that, it's like, fuck them, fuck for two things. It's like, damn, <laughs> like, Oof. yo. So I said, I can't be, you know, consciously critical of both parties. Yeah, so but see. I'm critical of one, I'm down for the other. For real? What did you tell me the other day? What people don't understand. Tell me about the hospitals. How, what's coming around the bike? Give me that spiel, because I like that one. That was good. What about the hospitals? Yeah, no, but yeah. we have all this homeless on the street now, whatever have you, or this COVID, or not, that, you know, we can't fight it because of what? They think it's because of uh, of I don't, what they think because because of uh, uh, Donald Trump got rid of some 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 budget item, but it goes deeper than that. Yeah, it goes back to a beam and 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 uh, and which and, and your boy Koch and all them people. Yeah, you know, I'm glad was, you mentioned a beam. A beam was the first time that I was actually like at an activist rally against them. What was that rally? It was a march against me. And me and my, my younger brother, who, who you know, you mm -hmm. met him before, John. Yeah, yeah. We always remember as kids, this is the first time we was allowed, you know, by my mother and my older brothers and sisters that we could curse during the march. <laughs> <laughs> so our chant was, B, you liar, we'll set your ass on fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We took full advantage of that. <laughs> he was shouting at his top follow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. wow. Now, people then, forget you know, that. And of course, they did the classic, the workers united will never be defeated. Yep. You know. Yeah, so they did that. But when we got a chance to sing Bean, you know, we was like, oh, I guess we can say it. Let's say it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but you were saying something more important about the, with the closing of the hospitals. All that, that 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 started a long time ago. Now you don't. Know, but but the whole thing you was talking about, what, 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 how they used to pick up the home, not the home, you know, the mental patients. It wasn't a cop. Give me that spiel. I don't want to say it. You know what? Okay, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. We talked about this yesterday. Yeah, sometime I forgot. You know, you know when you were saying that the, the before they used to have the medical teams would go out. And, and 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 pick up the homeless and give them and whatever have it medical little literally med medical teams would go oh, yeah, out. definitely back in the day you know you, you had systems in place where you know not only would they um 
come get the homeless or people that had mental issues and stuff like that, they would, you know, give them treatment and then put them in like um, a halfway home or something like that and then work them back into society. Mm-hmm. They don't do that no more. But mm. even even in um, when I was working in the subway, the way they did it was, you know, they had like these so-called um, community relations teams. And all they would do was just sort of put like a, a business card on a sleeping homeless man and say, yeah, so you, you, you don't want to go into a shelter, do you? And then they would just sort of, you know, the homeless would just sort of like, you know, shuffle a little bit, you know, or turn over and try and snuggle and get more comfortable and go back to sleep. They go, okay, uh, yeah, well, well, you know, we, um, we'll, we'll check back with you again and see if you change your mind um, tomorrow or something like that. And then they would just bounce. Man, you know, in fact, you know, you got to riff for a little while. I just realized something. I got, I got my, I forgot to bring my nephew out because I just got here the other day. You know, I got to bring my Don't nephew. Yeah, man. You know, I got to have, I got to send him up someplace here. Let me see. Someplace. Okay, I'll riff. Because <laughs> I got to go get, I'm, I'm going to get some water, man. I, I had this beverage, yeah. but I'm going to get some water. Let me see if I can set him up here so you can talk to him. For a little while. Oh no, that's that's, that's, that's not gonna work. Wait a second, I gotta do this somehow, man. Let me see how am I gonna do this. Uh, I know what to do. Anyway, so 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 you say back so then. Me, like my, my, my whole point in particular that really really got under my skin, hmm. especially with the whole cube thing and stuff, is that if and you know I saw when um, Tone was talking with him. Mm-hmm. And the best thing about that interview was Tone had, like, it was a New York Times graphic because I think I took a screenshot. Mm-hmm. And I, I really should look it up and, and go through it when it was showing that going all the way back to, I think, from Kennedy on. But definitely, I know they, they definitely had Carter. Uh-huh. You know, presidents from, so Carter was like in the 70s, right? Yep. And then every time after that, you saw the numbers of, like, by a long mile, how the black vote was going Democratic. That's right. That's right. And, and, you know, my thing is that anybody that really, really wants to really examine the history of it all, to say, okay, yeah, so we voted, you know, 80 to 90 to dad going near 100% Democratic. Mm-hmm. And then if you have to ask yourself, like, okay, so what do we get from this? What do we really get from this? Mm-hmm. When, when you know that if you walk into a store, just something as simple as walk into a store, you're, you're followed. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what do you know? That's, that's what I'm saying. Just something as simple as that. Not even as something as, like, as, you know, um, evil and dangerous as, you know, being incarcerated, you know, for longer period of time, for whatever, for whatever the reason, you know, or even falsely incarcerated, you know, for, for any length of time. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, just the, the whole idea of you going to a store today, you know, you're 70 years old and you're being followed. Man. And, and particularly as a black man. Mm. Listen, I gotta, I gotta, I just gotta, I'm gonna put this coconut beverage, this almond cashew cocoa beverage in the fridge and get me some water. I'll be right okay. back. There's, there's my right. nephew, his name is QJ. Rift him for a little while, give him some un- un- uncle advice, you know, elder advice. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, yo, man, what's up? How you doing? Listen, let me just say this to you. Right now, you know, we're fighting as we always been fighting and as we will continue to fight. And obviously, with your hand raised high, you are already fighting, fighting for justice, justice as well as the whole idea of us as a people to be respected as human beings and live, you know, in this um, what we call human world and also break down the artificial construct, which many of us know as white supremacy. This is what it is. You know, you always got to still fight. And, you know, you fight. Just when you're in a fight, you fight whatever you got in your hands, whatever you got in your mind. That's what we do. You know, so, like myself, being an artist, I fight with that. Poets fight with what they fight with. 
position fight with what they fight with. But all it is, the main thing is that, you know, we fight as a group, we fight as a community. Okay. And as long as we continue to fight, because we're always going to fight, because, you know, it's the natural thing for us to do. So, you know, we got to fight for not just our survival, not even to thrive, but actually to, you know, ascend. And that's what we do. Okay. You heard yeah. that. I know we heard that. Thank yeah. you. That's your, that's your Tata, the black man. That's right. He knows, he knows what that Tata. Yeah. Tata in the East in the, in the closer culture is I got to find another perch from another setup when I talk to you next week. Yeah. Uh, Tata say, means elder. Well, that's grandfather, but elder. And that's, yeah. that's you know, you know, you, I, I know everybody says Baba, but that's more, that's more like uh, Swahili, more, 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 um, uh, what we call that Zulu, you know, but uh, yeah. Tata, I like Tata. Actually, that's what they call me when I'm, when I'm, if I ever get back to South Africa. <laughs> oh, that's what they call you? Tata? Yeah, yeah, Tata. They're, I have two names. Yeah, well, the side they just call me, you know, you know, Sloan or Anthony, you know, but they also call me Professor. They call me Prof, you know, because <laughs> they call me Prof. But you know, prof. people don't understand Professor. Anybody can be Professor just means teacher. Yeah. And then when you say doctor, somebody that means that. See, the thing is that a doctor is earned by your colleagues. A, right. Your colleagues pref confer doctor upon you because you went through what they went through. The honorary doctor is just that honorary doctor. A lot of people, honorary doctors say doctor. I don't know yeah. about all that. And the, But anybody can be a professor. That's the whole thing, you know. And anybody can be a doctor, I guess, you know. But then, then, then you know, you know, black people have made this distinction between elder and older. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there's not a lot of elders. You know, there's a lot of olders, though. You know, yeah. a lot of old people talking some nonsense, you know. You know. Yeah, it's funny that you said about doctor, right? Because uh, in that show Fargo, right? You know, the brother Glenn Thurman, uh -huh. his name in the show is Doctor Sinister. Sinister, I mean, sorry, Doctor Sinister. Uh huh. Okay. So like, uh, he was times. asked by like this big manager. He's like, "Oh, um, you have a doctor?" <laughs> and he goes, "No, my mother named me Doctor. My last name is Senator." Right? <laughs> and then he goes, well, what's your mother's name? And he says, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, you ain't giving my mother no name. My mother's name is ma'am to you. <laughs> man, you know, that's the thing, man. Black people, you can't, I mean, real black people, you can't outwit them. You can't doubt them. And you know, hey, you know, oh, I just, oh, no, now, you know, the, the latest thing, I guess we're past this, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Fred Hampton. They ain't over. He he ain't cause no stir. So that's nothing. Else. But the next thing is you. You know Jennifer Hudson, who's ADOS. She's playing Aretha. They got Aretha Preston and everything that. You do, let's see what kind of job she does. But then you know this Cynthia Revo, who who keeps on trying to to play black people, is supposed to be playing Aretha and something else. Yeah. So now there's, there's a brother that's playing Fred Hampton in that Chicago Seven. It just uh, came out on Netflix. Yeah, okay. No, no, that's not... Oh, to play playing Fred Hampton in Chicago 7. Okay, they bring him up? Yeah. Okay. Not, yeah, not, I, I think he's ADOS, though. Well, but he, you're not talking about the Bobby Seal. You're talking about Fred Hampton was in that, too. Somehow, they brought him yeah, up? No, Fred Hampton's in it. He's in it. Oh, I got to see it now. I got to check it out. I can't, yeah, you know... I, tr I try to check this stuff out, man, but I tell you, man, it's difficult. I don't know why I just cannot watch TV. I don't know. I mean, here's why I think that, you know, because you lived a lot of this, so like when you see these these films, these docudramas that's, you know, um trying to um recapture what happened, I guess in, in so many ways it's so off for those that lived it that it's like it's off for you. Yeah, it could be. You know. Yeah, because you know you can't you can't encapsulate somebody's life, you know, just even a portion of the thing, you know, just what I wrote on that on that thing about uh, Henry Dumas when you get to the Ankh, you know, the 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 the, the Ankh and and, and uh, you know uh, that 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 you said the link. You see, just that one episode, that little episode. If I was just to do everything that uh, just my just my little stint on when I had uh, variations in black, it's my first radio program. Then that that would take up a whole whatever you know, it's yeah. like weird you know, it's, it's it's just weird. I was gonna say what was interesting as I was listening to it, 
it reminded me of what you said on more than one occasion, which you also said yesterday when we talked, that he said, you said that um, when we used to get together and talk about stuff, we'd be talking about it like all night long into the next morning and stuff. And I'm like, this is one of those conversations, isn't it? That's what you're supposed to, you're supposed to hash it out, man. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. In fact, you never, you never get to really hash it out. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point. Because every you, if, if, I did, people have been so affected by TV. You know, in, in in fifty minutes, you know, you don't solve the crime. You know, you don't did this. You don't did that. You solved the crime. Went home and had dinner. You know, and you know, and kissed the kids good night to bed. That's not how it happens in real life. You know, that's the whole yeah. point. You know. Well, you know, I don't know. So what else you got, man? What 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 else is happening? What What's new on the horizon? I forgot. I, I don't even know what I was going to talk about. You know. Um, I can tell you this real quick. The dude that plays Fred Hampton, his name is Kelvin Harrison Jr. Kelvin is black. <laughs> there you go, Harrison. Also, too. Junior. I mean, you got a junior, so you know. <laughs> oh, now nah, now nah, I got to check it out, man. I hope he does a good yeah. job. He was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. There you go. There you oh, go. Oh, he's the same age as my son, man. What? <coughs> oh, there you go, man. Yeah. I don't so know. There you go. There you go. Well, it's good. Actually, it's a little bit good to be back in New York because, you know, I went my fraternity. The, the, the wonderful thing about my brother here, Buddy, is like, you know, he's he's like Stone Cold Pan African and he's an academic, you know what I mean? Yeah. High level academic. In fact, he went to school with 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 Greg Carr, you know, with with at Temple went to some masters, whatever, with doctor, whatever program with Greg Carr, you know, you know, all them big time people like that. Yeah, yeah. But but nobody know, no, but he's low like low key, you know, cause he's he argue with everybody, you know, he low key. So, but the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, I can talk to him, you know what I mean? I can tell yeah. him anything I want and no problem. I try to talk to some of these other people here. I'm going like something has changed, man. These people lose their feelings. They don't want to talk no more. They can't discuss yeah. nothing. And I was like, wait a second. I just brought up a point. I thought we was going to talk about this. So they don't want to do that, you know. Man, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I go like, what's going? On? What's the matter with these people? In fact, he has to retire from. From he don't want to. He's the head of the the, the African Studies Department at Keene at you know, Keene University. Yeah. He's retiring, man. He put in his retirement papers because. You know, these people, all the students get butt hurt no matter what happens. It's like, whoa, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to teach these days. These, these days. I wouldn't, no, you know. I, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I just know it's not good. It's not, it's not good. For, for good. My, my whole thing is this. Is if, you know, you have, you know, a lot of the elders that have, um, you know, the history and the knowledge that don't want to share it. Oh, that's and not pass it down, Then that's a problem. Well, maybe they don't want to share it because they, they, they don't want to be challenged either. Because a lot of times if you invest in certain things and then, you know, you you, you, you don't want to... See, here's the problem, man. Not the, well, here's the situation in my eyes. We all... Let, let's stay with ADOS, right? I always say right now, you know, it's like right now ADOS to me is, is, is the logical tip of the spear. It doesn't mean the spear stops existing. You can still be all these other things on the spear right now. It's just that you don't have to be the tip right now. The tip is going to get all the brunt of the stuff. You know, some people say, well, I had this. I've been working on reparations for blah, blah. Or I, I had my 10-point program, you know, 20 years ago, whatever it is. Yes, you did. But ain't nobody, but you but you, you couldn't advance it. You didn't have a tip. You, you, you didn't have a tip to your spear. Now we got to speak. Now we, we, we all should jump on the spear. And let ADOS with their with their logic and with their 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 uh, what do you call it their figures push through, you know, and then yeah. just see what happens. Because once they push through and they per and they and they bust bust through, then you can you can spread out. You know, you just like you breach you breach the wall. You know, we breach the wall. Let's let's now let's let's spread out and, and, and deploy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it exactly. seems like because I mean I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was just gonna say now with the data, and I'm not saying that the brothers before. The brothers and sisters before didn't have the data, but what I'm saying in these days, people, you know, they listen to the data today. You know, you can have all the data you want twenty years ago, but people wasn't listening to data back then. Today, everybody's listening to data. I hear that. I hear that. You know? 
that's why when, when you talked before about uh, crypto and blockchain, because blockchain and stuff is like, look, here it is right here. You know, you can't get around it. So when you have the data and a particular sphere is showing the data, then, you know, even even if you can't um, admit it, you know, outright inside, you know, like, yeah, look at these numbers. Look at this, you know. And the data is like so easy that a child can read. Uh, you know what they say, you know, look, look, here's what they say. Stevie Wonder, Jose Feliciano, and Helen Keller can see that this yeah. is, you know, that this, that this is real. And if yeah. you want me to throw in, if you want to throw in Brother Ray, he, on his highest day, he could see what's going on, you know? Yeah. Come exactly. on, you know? Yeah. Exactly. So, and that's, and that's, that's what's so important about us. Look, I'm very hopeful in this time period. I'm hopeful that, you know, see, the thing is you do what you can. You know, you do what you can, and if somebody comes along that's they're zooming past, you try to give them some more fuel, rocket them along, you know, or uh, or the people that are trying to throw rocks at them, you jump and you jump and, and catch a few rocks, you know what I mean? So they, do, yeah. they don't get hit. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be throwing, also throwing rocks or saying that, you know, they, they, they need to be more proper when they say something like that. Well, get out of yeah. here, you know what I mean? I'm thinking like, okay, you know, so if they are more proper, does that make them more correct? You know what I'm saying? Doesn't it? Because you know, like, could, like could, does that change? What does that really change? Because you it, know what I'm saying? Because the next thing they say, what be, does it change? Does it make you feel better? Does it? Make yes, it does. It, 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 what is it? it they, they think it's validated because basically they say they say because because you because you, you know the next thing they say is because the white man looking at you like you a fool when you when you call yourself you know a, a, a cube or or, or or a cream or something like that. Really? Well, a white man's looking at you a fool no matter what you call yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> man, the white man's in the back saying, yeah, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny you used to say that because just before you called, I had looked at, I saw something in the queue after, um, right after you and Steve talking. Hmm. The next thing in the queue was Dave Chappelle from 2004 hmm. on the um, Conan O'Brien show talking hmm. about Planet of the Apes and black people. Right? Okay. So, now, so check it out. So he's talking to him and he's like, you know, yeah, you know, every time, you know, remember Planet of the Apes? And he mentions how, you know, back then it's like, you know, get off of me, you damn dirty apes. He's like, yeah, you know, it's in black. they were talking about black people back then. And then he said in the remake that they had and stuff, you know, they had the, um, so this wasn't like the latest remake, but the remake that was like, you know, around 2004 or so, right, with Mark Wahlberg. Okay. He said, um, the first thing that you see is, you know, when they have all the apes together and stuff, you know, the apes are eating watermelon. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I so yeah, you said the apes are eating watermelon. So you're like, oh, man, you go, you know. Then there was a scene, and this is when he makes his joke. You know, they pulled out a new port, then I knew I had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That so my... it showed you right there, and, you know, it's like, look, this is how they see us. They still see us that way. But that, that, I remember that, I went to like an eye appointment and this guy is, is using like a dictaphone, mm -hmm. right, to, to write down his notes while he's examining my eye. And he's uh -huh. like, yes, yeah, so I'm with, uh, you know, Mr. Black here, you know, <laughs> a very um, intelligent, um, well-spoken <laughs> fellow. <laughs> I'm like, yo, is this 2017? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> the black man can talk. Oh, okay. We so got I'm hey, look, like, you know, hey, the the everybody so gather around here. Goes on the screen. And we got a new, are we having a intelligent, well spoken fellow. We, we have an anomaly. We have an anomaly. Come on, everybody around, gather around, check this out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't look at his eyes, listen to his speech. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Well, I do know, but I'm, I'm, I'm just very hopeful because there's enough people. I just need, I just need people to start standing down, you know. Including me, I I stand down. I'm gonna say, oh, this person got this person got the, got the football now. He gonna advance it, you know, a few yards. Hey, go on, go on with it. Let me help you. Let me let me throw a few tackles your your way. You know, somebody gonna tell you that that you wrong for name. Let me let me deal with them. You know, you you keep on going. You know, that's that's my whole deal. You know, because because some people are. I I haven't really been listening to a lot of this stuff because somebody else was saying something about like. Uh, what was it? Uh, it seemed like Diddy and and 
Diddy and Cuba, somebody else was said they were having a conversation, and they were oh, saying, Diddy and Charlamagne the God. That, yeah, and they were saying like, like they, they, they said, why do we have to do that? And it's right. Well, you have to do it because you know the, the way things evolve. Now you all got the platform, and it's, it's a matter of be careful what you wish for. If everybody was saying, "Want the celebrity to jump on the bandwagon?" Want the celebrity? Then when the celebrity jump on the bandwagon, they say, "Hey, what gives it? What, why should they be talking?" <laughs> but because yeah, you exactly. asked them to talk, <laughs> you, yeah. you said you needed and them. And then soon, soon it's gonna like go go from the celebrities to the influencers, and then they'll be like, oh, "Man, this person just got a YouTube video or, or Instagram or, or a TikTok, and they doing all this talking now." Because you know, if you look at TikTok, TikTok. With the kids, you know, 15 and under is huge. Mm. So imagine you get, you know, some brothers and sisters that's around that age, you know, 10, 15 years old on TikTok, and they ain't just dancing. You know, they also drop the science. Yep. What they going to say about them? They need to stop dancing while they're doing that. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I think that the world is so the way it is. There's so many influences, so many things. Like like the famous thing with the, with, with the rapper, you know, uh, 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 Yellow Pain. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, yeah. when he was talking to his group, and then you had the the, the, the what do you call those the, the the Atlanta strippers talking to their group. Oh yeah, and it, 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 to the pole, yeah. So so that's the point. If you have enough, if you have enough people in your group, whether it's five people or fifty people or fifty or fifty thousand people, that's enough to do yeah. something. And and yeah. that's what you should be doing. That's the yeah. that's the whole point. I remember, um, you know, you showed us back us back back in the day. When we had the radio show. He's like, yeah. He said something about maybe two thousand people listening to you, but that's your that's your audience right there. That's it. Once you know, I, when I did no more radio on a, I did no more radio on a Sunday night, right? Yeah. And what I did, I purposely, you know, the dead hour in radio is like two o'clock on a Sunday night because that's when they usually repairing the, the antenna and stuff like that. But my yeah. radio program, I usually came on like from three to six. A, a, a Sunday night, Monday morning, right? Because yeah. I realized that if they, they if they pull the station down, usually it's from twelve to, to three or twelve to two, or something like some you know or two to three, something like that. So I always never be preempted, right? But that's also a dead hour, right? Yeah. But uh, uh, Errol Maitland once said, he said, you know, you know, you do realize that more people listen to you on a Sunday night than go to St. Patrick Cathedral all week long. See. And now with then what the advent of YouTube, I don't want no audience. If yeah. people don't understand, I don't want no audience. Give me five or six people. That's all I want, right? Yeah. I believe remember I'm I'm old school. Communication, there's this thing in communication where we're taught there's like a fork. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you have the stem, which is you, and then you 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 basically have talked to five people, and those five people is exponentially as they say, and those five people have talked to five people. So pretty soon as the years pile up, you know what I mean? You have talked to, you know, 50 million people. Yep. I'm not looking for today. I'm looking for, you know, you know, 300 years from now. If what, if what yeah. you're saying is so, I'm going to say profound, but so whatever, then what's going to happen? It's going to be classic. It's going to exist. And somebody's going to be examining it. Hoping that they say, you know, this person is nothing but an echo chamber, but this was an original thought person here. The, the, my, my famous thing right at this particular moment is most people don't know who, who Steve Coakley was or it was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Steve Coakley is a bad brother. Yeah, he, you know, Steve Coakley, man. <laughs> you yo, know? Steve Coakley was like, yo. Monster. I'm going, I'm going straight at you. <laughs> straight no chaser. <laughs> now, you know, so you might know Malcolm, but you don't know Steve Coakley. But once you get through, through Malcolm, you and you're going to get through all his tapes, and of course, you done burn through Martin Luther King. Then you get to Steve Coakley and you realize, oh, this is why this is why we didn't know about this brother Suda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's the point, you know? And that's and as soon as the TikTokers get 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 hold of Steve Coakley, that's gonna be it's gonna all be over, you know? Yeah. All these yeah. all these Negro whispers as they say, or all, all these silver rights people, you know? And then, yeah. you know my current favorite, you know, my current favorite. Out of everybody, living, uh, dead, whatever, is Dr. Randy Short. Man, I can't get enough of Dr. Randy Short, man. <laughs> well, let me look him up. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I don't know. I should have I said nothing. 
I'm I'm there now. Man, Randy Short, Dr. Randy Short, let me tell you, he grew up at Howard University. Of course, his people's was from, you know, his people's whatever. He know all, or or talk about the sexual proclivities, all that stuff. And right now he's working with with brothers in Tennessee for for like hemp farming and stuff like that. And a bunch of other things. The, the, The two people that I'm most interested in, you know, when I get back next year, if I get to South Africa, I get back, you know what I mean? There's two people I'm very interested in trying to hook up and, 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 and just being around them and do what they do. And that is Mishi X, when she goes to her little tours, when she goes to she goes to certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's say neighborhoods. And, and, yeah. and, and she'll, she'll, she'll rent a, like a, a pool hall and you'll have, your, you'll have your little affair in that pool hall. You know what I mean? Or something like that. You, you have to stay with a family in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. I'm interested in her and also Dr. Randy Short and what he's doing. Mainly because my project, because you know, or you don't know this, but my project, I have this uh, uh, the, the twelve million black voices project that I'm that I that I that I really have to do. It's this. Okay. It's, this, I've been trying to do this project for like since early '80s. I'm not early since the early '90s. I've been trying to do this project. You know, I got the script. I just got it now. I just got to have a way that I go. I, I I tape all these people. It's a lineage project. Because oh, okay. because I have people they they I have like three hundred something I'm just gonna I think I have I have three hundred and seventy voices that I that I have that that, that that they have to be recorded. But as what I'm doing is like when I go to a do person like I go to a conference say I go to a conference and I, I ask people to look at the, these voices these these what would you say as soon as they pick one out then basically I have them record that one but at the same time I ask them about their lives yeah their lineage so yeah. this is so whatever they're saying from. From from this Jim Crow era, from this from this black migration thing, from this 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 Richard White text, whatever they're doing, but I'm hooking it up to their own lineage, and so I want to do that, and I want to be able to do this. I want this to be. See, I have to understand every project I do is not really my project. It is my project, but I'm trying to make this project become institutionalized as some kind of institutional project, so it can be repeated. You know, it can be multiplied exponentialized you know like like that yeah. anyways it's, it's in my head don't worry about it it's i'm, I'm just the thing i have to work on is it's the thing that sustains me you say well it's a well, thing what you do i say i don't know uh you know, you know <laughs> doing something you know well you, aren't you doing an audio drama well you know i gotta get a group together i'm doing something <laughs> that's all i say, I say i'm doing something <laughs> i'm always doing something <laughs> for the people and hey, you got to do it for the people man for the lineage yeah. Okay, so you got anything else, man? I'm in New York for whatever, you know, I guess a week and a half, but, you know, we can still just, we still get back down to Virginia, but uh, I got to do some, some stuff this this, this week. Got to hook up, I got to hook up with Grayson, because, you know, I got to touch base with Grayson, see, what, see, see what's on his mind, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I got to do some therapy with some other people, you know. I'm a therapist. People don't know, I'm a therapist. I'm actually a therapist. <laughs> I come to town... <laughs> I come to town. I gotta give, give therapy. I give people therapy. You know. Yeah. They said, "Well, who's who gives you therapy?" That's why I want to get back to South Africa. My wife gives me therapy. <laughs> said, well, that's who hey. gives me therapy. You know. I remember you used to say that I was like the priest of the group. Yes, it's true. <laughs> you were. You are. <laughs> you are. Oh, man. Hey, everybody's got their role, man. Yeah. Everybody's got their role. You got to do what you got to do. You know. And the roles sometimes change. You you evolve in your role, you know. Yeah. With your new knowledge, yeah. you do you do what you got to do. So, that's it. Okay, you got anything else? Cause we going on for quite a while. You know, people don't want to hear us pontificate about nothing. You know, something must have been. Us, something must be like happening in New York. Word now, bloviate. Bloviate. What's yeah, the? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just I heard it one day on a first take, and I'm like, I just I just latched onto it. He's bloviating. <laughs> uh, who made this word up? Uh, Stephen A. Smith be using it a lot, so I don't uh, know if he made it up or not. Oh, uh, <laughs> but, but he certainly knows how to bloviate, so I well, give him credit for that. <laughs> well, you know, Stephen A. I ain't heard. I ain't heard Stephen A. in a long while. Yeah, Stephen A. You, you ain't missed nothing. He's still Stephen A. That's for sure. Queens boy, ain't he? What, yeah, Hollis. Oh, there you go. Hey. He's yeah. New Yorkers, man. Oh, oh, I got to tell you this. So, you know, I have a little problem with this app. And I, 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 and now I email, I email the company, whatever, because I'm trying to get this app over to my new phone, right? 
But then I had this other, so I went into the store and showed sure up. But I went to the store on 96th Street and the West Side, but they had yeah. the black people in there and the boy wasn't, he wasn't feeling me at all. You know, he was just trying to like, I ain't going to help this brother no matter what. So I just, you know, I just, I just, okay. I can't do this. He, he wasn't even attempted to do it, even though the guy on the phone said I should go to the store anyway. So it's all right. So I, I understood. But then I went to Trader Joe's and I still walked. So I walked back. I walked up to like, what's that, 100 and... 110th, 111th Street and Broadway. There's another, there's another T-Mobile in there, right? Now this is interesting. So I had this problem with my, with my, uh, with my Pappas, uh, uh Bluetooth headphones. You know what I mean? My other phone wasn't picking it up. You know what I mean? And I was really, I said, man, well let me. So I said, well, some here, let me just go in here. So you know what happens when you go? You say you have a problem, and I turned to have turn the phone So I turned on, and of course the problem is going away. But I just chalked it up. But the, but the brother was real nice in the store. You know what I mean? So I figured it was like the good vibes that that cures this thing. When there's the other store, it was the bad vibes that I couldn't even approach this this kind of thing. So I just wanted to say that, man. I just had to get... Let me just add this one thing in reference to Q. I just happened to like stumble on his Twitter and saw that he was on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, they got him... Uh, on the 16th with Tone, they got his uh, Don't Kill the Messenger speech on October 11th. But on October 17th, he says, family, make sure some of those educated fools who are always telling you what to do are really black and not Greek in disguise. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, roly poly, roly poly, roly poly. Oh, Lordy B. <laughs> Roly Poly got Roly Poly got that 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 who's that guy from New Orleans that their family down from New Orleans from the Urban League he got that kind of thing he got them Haitian jeans them 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 Greek jeans the them them what do you, what do you call them the boule jeans or wannabe <laughs> boule jeans uh, the, the I'm gonna cry at the, the, the uh, uh, anybody can dog walk this boy that's the problem <laughs> you know. The problem is that these these people let the Democrat Party dog walk them. That's the yeah. problem, you know. And that's what that's what I can't stand. That's what I really yeah. can't stand because there's this thing. Who would let me put it this way? There's this military term, but this military thing. Well, you know, I get it from the military. It's World War Two term. It's who who do you want to be in a foxhole with? Yeah. That's the question. Are yeah. you going to be in a if you're in a foxhole with Jamie Dimon? And roly poly, you know, and the rest of the Democrat Party, or you want to be in the foxhole with Cube? Choose. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the thing, you know. Yeah. That's that's the ultimate thing. Who got your back? Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk black. Who got your back? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you think the Democrat Party got you, if you think if you think that the, all these people that's that, that's trying to get 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 get. Get un, you know, you know, uh, licking the, the the Biden balls. You are you are sad. You said you are sad. You are sad, Negro. You know what I mean? Yeah, let it go. Let was it that go. too graphic? I'm sorry. I I apologize. That it was, was Sunday night. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Isn't that what they all say? It is what it is. <laughs> okay, man. Anytime, you know. And hey, look, we can do this anytime you want. I'm in New York. I mean, like if all of a sudden, you know, because we had a good conversation the other night. I wish I was taping it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. Well, I was... Yeah, you was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta catch. You get these brothers. You know, brothers always get in an emotional state. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you, catch, you catch them in a barbershop or 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 or, or 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 when they try to you know get out of an emotional state. That's the best time to catch a brother. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like boom. You know, it's like it's gold, right? Liquid gold. Or what? <laughs> I just gotta sit up my phone real quick and I'll be all right. You know. Okay, man. So you know, I, I, I'll check you, man. I gotta, I gotta go to VA tomorrow and see what they got in store for me. Get some blood tests and stuff like that. My checkup, so I get out of here. All right, see what's All right, man. You take care. You too. Take it easy. All right, later.